Welcome. In this short video I will explain lead time, talk time, cycle time. And will show you formulas for calculation with examples. Find link to download template with automatic calculations, in the description below. Let's get started. Hello to Six Sigma Mania. My name's Eric. This channel is here to help you understand Six Sigma, lean and project leading principles. All three indicators are here to help us to understand how we are able to fulfill customer demand. Everything starts at the customer requirement. Customer demand sets our talk time. Talk time is an average pace, that process must work, to make customer happy. Is calculated in minutes or seconds. Example, customer requires 1000 of our products per month. There are 21 working days in that month. If facility works on one shift. And the shift lasts 8 hours, which is 480 minutes, our talk time will be. 21 times 480 equals 10,080. Divided by 1000 equals 10.08 minutes. Talk time formula is available days per month times number of working minutes per day. This number divided by customer requirement or targeted production. To fulfill customer requirement, our talk time needs to be maximum 10.08 minutes. That means approximately each 10 minutes in average, we need to finish one product. In reality, nobody can work 480 minutes with 100% focus called efficiency. There are breaks and natural human needs like drinking, chatting, unstable focus. This decreases efficiency. All these have to be subtracted from our calculation. First subtract breaks. Let's say there is 30 minutes break in the shift. 480 minus breaks equals 480 minus 30 equals 450 minutes. The best companies are reaching 75% efficiency for human operations. Efficiency can be incorporated by multiplication of 0.75 number, in this case, 450 times 0.75 equals 337.5 minutes. For machines and automated processes, use 95% efficiency. Now, how this have affected our talk time? 21 times 337.5 equals 7087.5 divided by 1000 equals 7.1 minutes, rounded. With breaks and efficiency counted in, product must be finished in every 7.1 minutes in average to fulfill customer requirement. But not always processes go smoothly. There are discrepancies, downtimes that occurs and are affecting our processes. We must count also with regular maintenance. All these have to be subtracted from our calculation. Let's count with discrepancy only to make this example easier. 3% discrepancies will affect talk time this way. 3% discrepancy ratio means it is something wrong with three pieces out of 100 produced pieces. Those pieces must be extra produced to fulfill customer needs, right? So, to produce 1000 OK pieces, we have to make 30 pieces more. 21 times 337.5 divided by 1030 equals 6.9 minutes. Formula explanation. Available days per month times number of working minutes per day divided by customer requirement or targeted production with extra parts added. We cannot work on talk time anymore if we want to satisfy customer. Here is where cycle time comes to place. In this case, maximum average time our process must work is 6.9 minutes. If we'll exceed this number, we will not be able to fulfill requirements in standard time. Therefore, improvement or some change has to be done to get there. Now, what I mean by average time. If one product type takes three minutes to produce, another nine minutes, and production amount is the same, average cycle time is six minutes. Final cycle time is defined by the slowest process. Called bottleneck. Lead time is an addition of all cycle times and waiting times from all processes product is going through. Let's say there are six different processes, each within cycle time, but there are products waiting to be processed on some stations. These times must be counted with to the lead time. Lead time serves us to understand how fast we can respond on customer request. Look under the video where you find a link to my blog to download Excel with calculations showed in this video. Use it share it. If you find this video helpful, give us a like. We'll be more than happy to have you in our online community, so hit the subscribe button and join Sigma Maniacs. Do not hesitate to post your comments, questions, or themes you are interested in to see on this channel. Looking forward to meeting you with the next video.